Hi, I'm Professor Lusheen. Thank you for joining me for my introductory video to both myself as the instructor and for course Safety 380, Introduction to Occupational Safety and Health. I have a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from the University of Minnesota and my master's and PhD are in industrial engineering from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, as you can see from the dates, I'm getting up there in age. I have three licensure, professional licensures. First is my professional engineering license, uh, focused on chemical engineering in Minnesota. I also have my certified safety professional from the Board of Certified Safety Professionals, and uh, the my certified industrial hygienist from the uh, American Board of Industrial Hygiene. I'm also uh, a leader in the American Society of Safety Professionals. I'm the VP for the Council for Professional Development. I'm the former Wisconsin chapter president, uh, I think twice removed now, uh, but I still participate quite a bit. And I used to, for almost a decade, I was on the, uh, the planning committee and also was the chair of that planning committee for the uh, Future Safety Leaders Conference, and I've, I've sat on several editorial review boards or been um, associate editor. My work experience started right after my college career in Minnesota. I became an industrial hygienist or slash compliance officer with Minnesota OSHA, so that's really how I cut my teeth in safety. Uh, I, I spent a few or a year or two with the consultation side of OSHA in Minnesota. I spent one year out in industry as a product manager. Uh, learned sales and marketing and stuff like that in that experience. Came back to OSHA for a little while before I went to graduate school. While I was in graduate school, I was working part-time with the Department of Health and Family Services as the Assistant Safety Director. After graduation, I went up to the University of Minnesota Duluth and taught in their uh, Department of Mechanical Industrial Engineering and was kind of redesigning, helping them redesign their Master of Environmental Health and Safety program. And then 2010, I came to Whitewater, and that's where I've been ever since. And also, I am in the process of developing my uh, consulting business called EHS Essentials. And actually, I'm going to be sharing a lot of new social media content with you this semester. And I'd enjoy your feedback. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see what you say. Some interesting things about me. Uh, back in 2009, I was the lead safety volunteer for the hit ABC show, uh, Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Received no credit for it, but was there for the seven days. Uh, in 2012, I was awarded ASSP's highest award um, or recognition for a, an academic uh, outstanding safety educator. And just last year, I was nominated by the College of Business and Economics as their um, for the Roseman Teaching Award. Some things about me, and you can see my pictures over here, is that uh, I have two daughters uh, and I'm married. Uh, th actually, this coming October will be my 20th year. Got two dogs, they're my boys, uh, Pepper and Humphrey. Uh, I'm currently teaching uh, archery, youth archery, at the Stoughton, Stoughton Conservation Club. And I'm also, I might even share some videos on that too. And then my basic hobbies would be anything home remodeling, anything landscaping, anything gardening, and I do play video games. <laughs> Ask me about that if you want. So for your first assignment for this class, and like you do it by Sunday, is to go into the discussion board and introduce yourself. And I've got some questions there. I just want to get a little bit of background on you. Uh, because this is online and because I can't see you in a classroom, it's important to me that I get to know who you are through the discussion board and through the three meetings we have during the semester. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to bring up the uh, syllabus so we can kind of talk about and look at aspects of the course. Actually, let's go to the course first. So I don't know how well you can see this. I'm going to try to zoom it in a little bit. Uh, so each week I will, each Sunday at midnight, I'll release the file, the next week's content. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to course information. We're going to look at the syllabus here in just a moment. Uh, the course textbooks. Sorry about hitting that. The first one is here. This is uh, administration and programs for the National Safety Council. The second one, and these are really thick, but don't worry. I'm not expecting you to read word for word. You're going to be skimming. Next one is engineering and technology. So those are the two books we're going to be using for the course, and we're going to be spending a lot of time on the OSHA website. Uh, so here under week one, we've got uh, participate in the in the icebreaker. You can either do that or go to straight to discussion. It's only lecture one. I've got information here. I've got some other uh, YouTube videos to watch in association with the content. There is no quiz week one, but I do want you to do reflection. So click on this and then there are four questions I'd like you to respond to. Your responses should be anywhere from one to two paragraphs. Don't just give me a few lines. I want some content. And as we go through the semester, you will kind of get a feel for what I expect. 
So let's go to the syllabus really quick. I wanted this to be a really short video, but it, it's going longer. I you'll, you'll find that in my videos, sometimes I speak a little bit long. Yeah, don't, uh, and I'm doing this from home. I'm gonna try to create more up-to-date current videos for you using my YouTube channel. And I'll be mentioning that in a moment. So the course is completely online. It's very much self-study. Here are the course textbooks. I believe you can get those through the bookstore. Actually, you could check those out from any local library too if you're not in Wisconsin. It tends to be a very popular book from the National Safety Council. The, the, the description and stuff, really what I want to do is um, gain, have you gain an appreciation for the safety field and maybe develop some basic skills of hazard identification and correction. That's really what this is all about. I don't want you to have to memorize certain things. So here are the assignments. So participating in the icebreaker and completing the course climate survey, which you get at the end of the semester, that's 5% total, 2.5 each. Each week there is a quiz, 10 questions, multiple choice. You have a half hour to do it. Um, and it's based really, it's basically, it's based on the study sheets primarily. So watch the lecture, read, um, complete the study sheet for your own personal, for development for the quiz. You'll get it. It's not that difficult. The top 10 scores are counted. So I believe that'll remove the top two or top three. I think there are either 12 or 13 quizzes. They're not every week. Again, not week one or the final week. But you do need to complete the reflection each week. I call it reflection because it's not really a correct answer per se. What I want you to do is respond to the questions, the more thought-provoking questions. Refer to lecture content, things you learned in the lecture, and try to relate it to your personal life. Um, I just, I'll talk about Kolb's uh, learning cycle in just a moment. We're going to meet three times through the semester uh, in the 4th, ninth, and 15th week. And I'll be posting uh, requests for... Uh, when you can meet. You can meet with me on campus or we can do it through WebEx. Um, and also, because we've got such a large class this semester, I think I may allow there to be, you know, two, three, maybe even four people within one meeting if that works for people. Each of those are just 5% each. We'll just talk. That's really what it's all about. In the ninth and 10th week, you'll complete this really fun game. It's, it's kind of a video game, but not under, like, the way video games are now. Uh, it through the OSHA website and it's meant to kind of just have you experience what it's like virtually to be a safety professional. Hopefully you enjoy that and I want you to take screenshots of the results of the three scenarios you'll be going through and just write up your experience and I'll be providing an assignment sheet for that in the ninth week and we'll talk about it in our ninth week uh, meeting. And then there's a final exam. It's It'll be posted during the 15th week. It's due midway through the second week, so right in the final exam week. And it's there's 10 questions but it's going to have you do or go look things up and respond to things uh, that you would do if you were practicing safety. And so I'm kind of proud of that final exam. Students tend to like it. So that's you basically, you know, what's going to be required for the course. You know, this is all the language that they require me to post. And then you could see here, week one is just lecture one. Watch videos, read a few things, complete the reflection. And then I've got two lectures per week then after that. So I think last semester students were spending anywhere from two to four hours per week working on this course. And again, it's, it's completely self-study. Most everything is due Sundays. So um, you could do this over the weekend if you're working full-time. You really could. Um, it's not meant to be a, a large time uh, commitment. But I, I, and I just want you to kind of pick up the gist of things and, and enjoy safety and begin an appreciation for it. So as you can see, in week 10, when you do the OSHA training module, it's just that. There's no lecture material, though I still want you to reflect. Give me a reflection on your experience. And then we wrap up. Uh, the final week is not a lot. Um, there's no quiz that week. There will be a reflection, but it's more of a comprehensive semester reflection. And I'm just going to talk about some of the things that are going on in the safety field. Your final exam is due. Um, it's kind of a take home. You write it up type it up, excuse me, and then post it by Tuesday at midnight, May 12th. So this semester is going to go really, really quick, and I will be posting reminders of everything as we go through. So we saw the website, we looked at syllabus, so let's go back to the uh, PowerPoint here. There's not much left, don't worry. Oh, I hate it when it does this. There we go, we're back. So <clears throat> some of the expectations is I don't like to relinquish so much, you know, uh, responsibility to the student to study themselves. The last semester, the students loved it, so we'll go with it again. You can, of course, contact me anytime, and um, and we can set up regular office hours if, some, if that's something you need. So when you go to Canvas each week, again, open Sunday night at midnight. Look at everything. Please touch everything. Take a look at it. Um, watch and watch all the videos, and then try to complete the study sheet. It doesn't have to be full answers. It's just going to help you with the quizzes. 
Uh, so there's weekly reflection. There's 15 of them. You saw that's 30% of your grade. There's quizzes every week. Not every week. <laughs> Most weeks. They're multiple choice. That's 30% of the grade right there. The meetings with me. Uh, again, the 4th, 9th, and 15th week. That's 5% each for 15% of the grades. So we're already at 75%. The hazard identification tool. You play that. You write it up a little bit. It's going to be a three to four page write up with screenshots in, in there. So maybe a two to three page write up. With, and then the screenshots would take up the rest of the page, page and a half. Uh, that's 10% of your grade. And the final exam, which is comprehensive, is another 10% of the grade. And then you get the 5% for just participating in the icebreaker discussion and for completing the uh, course climate survey at the end. I'm also, I, I, again, I'm trying to develop my, um, my consulting business and my social media presence. So right here, I'm going to be posting a lot of things on my YouTube channel and I'm going to be building that. I hope to have my podcast out by the time maybe you even watch this. I'm either, either going to be posting it through Safety FM at some point or, and or possibly through uh, Safeopedia. These two sites I'm, I'm both working with and in discussions with. And, I, and if you're doing LinkedIn, please find me. Um, I do a lot of my social media through LinkedIn. That's where I'm going to be releasing and promoting a lot of the things I do. This course is designed for the, for the non-safety major. And I see that we've got a majority, a great majority, of non-safety students in the class, and that's great. Uh, for the safety students, you're still gonna get a lot out of this, but if you wanna reach out to me and get some additional clarification or guidance or mentoring, I would be more than happy to assist you. I'm gonna wrap up with one of my favorite philosophers. This is David Hume. Um, and in his treatise for human nature, what this basically, what this, what this quote basically indicates is that the study of man, I should say the study of human, human behavior, human thought, is worthwhile. Because really, the human themselves dictate the, the success of anything you do. And so that's kind of my philosophy and how I both teach and how I practice safety. With that, now go to uh, the course information into week one and start going. And I look forward to working with you this semester.